go to any breakfast spot around the state and it's likely you'll find this southern cuisine on the menu. Of course, we are talking about grits. Yeah, it's a product Freeman's Mill in Statesboro has been churning out for more than two decades by using a unique old school method. Damon Jones has the story. It's truly a taste of the South. Whether you top them with cheese, bacon, or even shrimp, grits have become a staple for cooks around the region. But despite its popularity, there aren't many grit mills across the state, which is why Stacy Freeman decided to open his operation more than 25 years ago. There was need. We grew, we were growing corn and wanted some grits, and there wasn't anybody who could grind it. So we found a, a grits mill and uh, started grinding it. Love the way it tasted, and so. So uh, over time, people started finding out that we were doing that. And um, it just kind of grew from there to the point where we're, uh, you know, now, now we're providing grain products to a lot of people. And now he's shipping his products to restaurants and schools all over the state. It's a demand that continues to grow because of the high quality and nutrition that is produced during the milling process. Um, our products are all whole grain. Uh, there's there's no additives in the product, so it's not enriched or fortified or uh, no additives in it. So what what the children and and customer is eating is actually the grain and not not something added to it because something's been taken away from it. As for the process itself, it's as old-fashioned as it gets. The corn is simply placed in the bin and crushed between two stones. So we get the bags locally shipped in. And then from there, we, we pour it into our grinder, which is a flat stone coal uh, grind mill. And it has like a horizontal stone, which will, one of them's a bed and one of them's a roller. And that's what produces those, uh, produce the grits in the corn mill. With the corn being ground up in such a slow fashion, there is very little heat produced by the friction. That allows the corn to maintain its integrity, which results in a high quality, delicious final product. I don't know, you just can't get nothing better than what our grits taste like because it's just pure corn. And you're not taking anything out of, the, out of the product, you're actually making more of it. And that's one of the benefits that we have. Another benefit is the machinery itself. While most mills are water powered and have a number of components, that's not the case here at Freeman's Mill as they use the same technology you would have seen back in the early 1900s. It's that simplicity that not only produces high quality products, but also keeps things running smoothly. Inside of a warehouse, it takes uh, everything from power control panels to PLCs, all the way down to your like your microelectronics processors. And we don't need all that. It's just, a, we got a, a 60 horse motor that runs a line shaft and the line shafts have the belts hooked up to them. And we, we just instantly know whenever something's not running right because it's a, a one-two thing because it's A makes B move and B relates to A. So if you find something that's wrong, you only have two options. We're, we, we're not only trying to make certain that, that uh, we're, we're providing a product that, that tastes and is the same quality as 100 years ago, uh, but, but we're also trying to preserve the processes as well. Reporting from Statesboro, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.